Hi, my name is Tom Schuldice. I'm with Basement Labs. I'm a senior metallurgist here. We're just going to do a quick product review on the Metso D12. So just a few things about the Metso uh, machine. Uh, we have a number of different types of cells that we can run. Uh, most of the cells for the Metso are stainless steel. They do come with some Perspect uh, options and some other options for um, high intensity scrubbing. On the, on the Metso agitator, there's, there's usually two uh, different sizes of uh, diffuser and agitator. So these are the diffusers. They thread on to the, the bottom of the uh, uh, impeller shaft and then the impeller goes on after underneath. So this is the impeller for the larger cell. So this would be the one that we run most often with the 4.4 liter cell. Uh, features about the Metso cell. Um, this agitator and um, diffuser and mechanism is pretty much the standard for metallurgical testing. So most metallurgical test labs run this type of equipment. The Metso machine has a, has a manual uh, cell raiser, so you raise your mechanism like this, you put your cell in here with the material that you're going to float, and then you lower it now. We've made a couple of modifications. The standard, uh, standard air input is a, is a self-aspirated cell, or a self-aspirated valve on the side. We run ours with compressed air at uh, a pressure of about 5 to 10 psi with the airflow controller. We also have the machine hooked into a timer so that we can um, set a preset time when the machine sets off, shuts off. So that's pretty much it for the Metso machine. Oh, uh, actually, no, we'll show you, under, show you under the hood. So the Metso machine is a mechanical um, clutch. Mechanical clutch actually is back here. Um, drive it driven off the motor. So you apply pressure with the knob on the back to change the speed. And it's all belt driven so there's no electronic uh, driver on this. It's all mechanical and you you change the speed of the machine by the agitator by changing this knob back here and they we typically run between 900 and 1500 uh, RPM on the agitator for most flotation work. As you can see, it, it realistically goes up to about 2400 RPM. Okay, that's it.